Today I'll explain the benefits of percussion massages like massage guns versus vibration massage. Now we see the term percussion and vibration used interchangeably, but they're different. Now the easiest way to explain the difference is that percussion massage is like a jackhammer, while vibration massage is like one of these compactors. They both vibrate, but you get completely different effects. Now, in this video, we'll go over the benefits of each, in particular their scientifically proven effects, penetration and safety, then most importantly, how you can tell which is which. Now let's start with the effects. Now I know the effects of vibration massage very well. If you Google vibration massage, the number one resource should be the guide I wrote, The Scientifically Proven Effects of Vibration Massage with Clinical Applications. It discusses all the benefits I've got listed here. Now before this video, I wasn't aware of any such benefits for percussion massage, so I studied the websites that discuss the benefits of percussion massage. In every case where they mention a scientific study, the study wasn't even percussion, they were vibration. To put this into perspective, it's like jackhammer manufacturers claiming the benefits of vibrating the ground. Yes, they vibrate, but it's for the purpose of driving in the head, not vibrating the ground. If you want to vibrate the ground, you'd use a compactor, not a jackhammer. Now here's an example. According to Google, one of the top references for benefits of percussion massage is this article by Hydragun called The Five Science Backed Reasons Why Percussion Therapy Is Good. The scientific studies as referenced were of vibration, not percussion. Now reading these websites on percussion massage, a common claim is that by driving the head in it gives better penetration. Now this is total garbage. In an article linked in the description, I give some data from a scientific paper about vibrations in the construction industry, but let's look at our jackhammer versus compactor analogy. Jackhammers are designed to drive the head in and do a lot of damage, but the heads only go in so far. On the other hand, the vibrations from compactors penetrate much deeper. Now with that, let's look at safety. Now this comparison is a no-brainer. With vibration massage, the vibrating pad sits on the surface and lets the vibrations soak in. Now nothing is perfectly safe, but it's pretty close to it. On the other hand, with percussion massage, you're driving the head in like a jackhammer. If you don't know what you're doing and aim it at an injured tissue, blood vessels or nerves, you can do some serious damage. Now the last benefit percussion massage er, proponents mention a lot without giving any scientific evidence is the breaking up of scar tissue. Now they don't say whether it's old scar tissue or newly forming scar tissue, so let's look at each. Now looking at old scar tissue, it's true that scar tissue can stick things together and cause problems and there's a technique called cross-friction massage that's used to break it up. However, cross-friction massage is actually tearing scar tissue, so it's extremely aggressive and painful. Unless you use a very powerful percussion massage with a hard head in a very aggressive and painful manner, it's not going to effectively break up all the scar tissue. And if it did, just by the very nature that it's deliberately damaging tissue, that should only be done by a professional who knows what he or she is doing. Now looking at newly formed scar tissue, the good news is that as this pic shows, vibrations alone have been scientifically shown to stop scar tissue forming. It doesn't need percussion. In fact, the percussion head would probably do further damage to the healing tissue and cause more scar tissue. So, those are the relative benefits of percussion and vibration, massage, but the effects of each also depends on how the therapy is applied. The big issue here is that most percussion massages are massage guns. If you check out this pic, you'll see that the percussion effect is directed straight out the head, so you need to point it like a gun. You can see that if it's applied at an angle, its effect is minimised. Now, massage guns don't come with proper handles, so unless you inspect a gadget, you can't point the gun properly at places like your back. On the other hand, some, not all, vibration massages come with a proper handle to allow you to use them anywhere on your body. So, if you're after a massager, how do you tell the difference? Well, there's some crossover between the two types of machine, 
uh, but there are certain characteristics to look for. The most obvious is the shape of the heads. Again, if you think jackhammer versus compactor, your percussion massages are going to have heads that look like they're for driving in, while vibration massages will tend to have flatter heads designed for vibration transfer. The next thing to look at is the amplitude, which is how far the head goes up and down. You can easily see this if you look at the head side on while it's running. A good vibration massage will have an amplitude of about 3 to 5 millimeters, while a percussion massage will have more. Now looking at our jackhammer and compactor again, a jackhammer head might go up and down a few centimeters to drive the head in, but if the big flat plate on the compactor went up and down that far, it would just bounce around uncontrollably. Now given that info, you'll find massage guns with jackhammer heads that only go up and down a few millimeters. Now they aren't vibration massages, but rather cheap knockoffs. Think of buying a cheap and nasty jackhammer that you take home and find it's not much more effective than a woodpecker. You'll also find massages that only go up and down a millimetre or two. And that's not enough to impart any decent vibration, so they're just buzzy toys. Now I hope you've worked out by now that percussion massages are basically a fad and as vibration massages that give the benefits. There are a few good vibration massages around. A general purpose massager is a good example. It's well built, it's got a proper handle so it can use anywhere on your body and like a good vibration massager should, you put it on your body, there's no digging in and you feel the vibrations going right through your body. Now they're available from our website or from clinics across Australia, New Zealand and the UK. Now we usually send to Europe as well. Uh, check out our website, but as I do this video, until some post-Brexit stuff gets sorted out, it's practically impossible to get parcels to the EU. And most of our massages are sold through professional clinics where the professionals use them themselves and recommend them to their patients and clients. Now, if you're a professional who deals in that sort of thing, check out our professional page on our website or uh, send me an email and we'll organise things like professional guides, professional rates, and maybe even a trial machine. Anyway, thank you very, very much for watching. It's been most appreciated.